teach you some little trick about how to remove this pinch bolt. Well, not the pinch bolt, sorry, the, build, the bolt joint off of the hub. Sometimes it's rusty and uh, it doesn't want to come off. So I did learn myself because I did work a lot on the ground and basically you can use as well the same system on the ground instead of use a transmission jack you can use a, a normal jack. So basically you put a, that's the main tool that you need, a pry bar. So you put a pry bar in the hole here, get up like that. So you put that in and basically you jack up the thing like that and like very easy peasy you push that in that's it that's off that's it so we're gonna drain the oil this this car has gone up to the LSD in it so we're gonna keep the oil because it's done like a thousand miles or something and so we need a 10 millimeter allen key to, to remove the drain pack uh, yeah, basically we saved the oil and we're going to put it back in. So LSD, if you put, do upgrade that gear, uh, put an LSD in it, bear in mind you need a LSD gearbox oil, uh, which that's what it was, motor. It's a motor oil, yeah? Right, so drive shaft, we we'll take them off. The short one, uh, sometimes it does come off from the gearbox housing together. Uh, but at some other time, unfortunately, like in this case, you need to take those bolts off and they're a bit of a pain. Our 8mm Allen key on this side, 17 on the other side. Uh, they do hold quite quite a bit until it's going to reach the point which is start to turn together with the nuts. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. Uh, instead, the long one, it's got three bolts here on the side. Suggestion, mark them because it's got a, sim uh, a fixed spot. So otherwise you need to find the right spot to go back again. But you can't go wrong because that is a drain, so it has to go on the, on the bottom, just in case anyway myself. I just put a line with a marker. So make your life easier when you put it back together. And uh, yeah, so next step, we're gonna take the front end off, uh, ready the bumper and everything, and uh, yeah, see you shortly. So we went that far so far. Uh, bumper off, uh, we're gonna take the radiator, uh, part of the harness as well, another device, mark the bloody front or rear, whatever you like. Land the sensor, because they can be swapped and the car will be run like a bag of spanner after that. Um, so we're just taking off that small uh, engine map, just like a stabilizer. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna carry on and uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon. Alright, so, so far, that's where we are, so we took radiator off, front end off, bumper off, uh, we disconnect the clutch, uh, heater matrix, uh, coolant pipes, fuel line, um, we need to disconnect the servo pipe here, uh, the canister pipe for the fumes of the, um, for the fuel, and uh, yeah, I had a bit of struggle here, on the, um, the clutch master cylinder, uh, clutch, sorry, the clutch slave cylinder. So this pipe was seized. I had to use some heat to take it off. And another thing I want to show you. So that's the main connection. That's the main power feed for starter motor and alternator, which is in that box. And it's got 13 millimeter head nuts. And there is also a plug, which basically is up here. And it's this one. So that comes together with the engine and you take the entire engine loom together with the engine down. So it's a plug, it's attached here, up here where it is. It's that plug, so it goes in there, but pass under here. And cables, uh, sorry, shifter cable are off, uh, drive shaft off, so it's actually pretty ready to come, come down. All right, cheers. Right, so the baby's off, um, next step, the clutch, the gearbox off, and um, pretty much it's a straightforward thing. The only thing is, when you put back the clutch, this is um, a pull clutch, not push clutch. So basically, what it actually does, 
the, the when you press the clutch, these things goes forward. So basically, it pulls the, the plates, the blades. So it's other way around as a, um, of a normal car. So when actually you put it back together, you have to keep these things inside. So otherwise, if you plug it in and you try to open the clutch, you will destroy the, the clutch plate. So basically, what you do. So because it works that way, basically you have to clip it in. You put it back together in your box and you just grab the arm and push it that way and it will clip right through so uh, the, the release bearing inside of the clutch plate. And uh, yeah, pretty much it's all straight forward to go back. And that's it. So after that we will do the timing belt. And I'll also show you, because this is a car that's got upgraded 3.2 cans in. Uh, so you need the uh, 3.2 timing belt uh, tool because otherwise you can't set the cams. Uh, although you can do it with the 3 liter but it's not really precise 100%. Okay?